Hey friends, this is Atif Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on VeChain. In today's video, I would like to show you once again this descending triangle that is formed on the daily time frame chart. And you can see that for the past several days, the price line is struggling to break out this downtrend line resistance. And I would also like to share with you this huge falling wedge pattern that is formed on the seven days time frame chart as well. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and for more trading signals. You can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you and you can find a link to join me here in the video description I've shared. And if you would like to see how my trading signals work, then I've also shared the link for the previous month of September 2023 trading signals report in the video description. You just need to open that report and for example, if you would like to check or verify any trading signal like this, the trade set setup for auction, you just need to click on the link for the trade setup and it will take you to the trading views chart. And this chart shows you where the price end was moving when I shared this trade signal. And in order to see how the price end moved after that, you need to click this play button. And in order to use this option, you need to have at least a free account on the trading view. If you don't have, then you can create one using my referral link I've shared in the video's description. And after clicking this play button, you can see it is showing us how the price end first dropped down into the buying zone, and then we had it's very, very massive pump. By the way, I shared this idea on 11th of September, 2023 with my members. Now, let me take you to the live chart of uh, WeChain. And this is a daily time frame chart. And you can see that uh, for the past several days, since after 13th of uh, here, uh, 10th of June, the price end is moving inside this descending triangle. You can see we had a long spike, but the price end could not uh, break down this uh, horizontal support of this descending triangle that we have approximately at one uh 0.475 cents and we had another bounce here another bounce here another bounce here and you can see we are testing the resistance more than the support that is a quite clear signal that the price end can eventually break out this resistance of the descending triangle at the same time you can see we got several bounces here as well like here we had a support and recently you can see that the price end is uh still following that previous support as well that was previously broken down here and this was, by the way, the formation of the falling wedge pattern. And now the price end is uh, continuously moving uh, inside the previous falling wedge pattern that was, uh, by the way, formed here back on 24th of June. And now the movement is getting squeezed. And this support is the reason that the price end is not dropping down at the support of this uh, descending triangle. Therefore, I'm expecting that using this support, it can soon break out the resistance of this descending triangle. And the target for this breakout from this triangle. Uh, can be here that will be approximately at 2.4 or 2.5 cents and now if we switch to the weekly time frame chart in the, uh, here you can see that for the past several months or years it was moving inside this long-term uh, falling wedge pattern and recently we have left the resistance and after leaving the resistance the price and it's getting accumulated above this resistance and uh, this resistance of the triangle on the daily time frame chart is the reason that the price is so far not able to start a very, very massive move. Therefore, I'm expecting that as soon as it breaks out this resistance of the descending triangle, then it can soon start a very, very massive price reversal from here. By the way, the final target for this breakout will be here at the top of the wedge. Uh, that will be between 28 cents to 30 cents. So this was the update so far. I hope that you've liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member. Because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.